What is good guys, I'm here with a replay between Long Beats and Latna, Cryos vs Sharks. Unfortunately one of the games that I was not able to catch live. Uh, SPL Sunday was super wild, there were like 4 games at the same time, I also had internet issues. Tried to get as many games as I could, even with 2 computers, but uh, unfortunately this is one game that I missed. We have uh, London Beats playing for the Cryos vs Latna from the Sharks here if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna get right into it, I'm just gonna talk about the teams real quick. It has to be Rox Clef on Latna's side with either either Rox CM or Rox Knockoff. Uh, Spadef, Grastrofit, have Clef, Mixed Defensive Stealer I would guess, and uh, either the Kartana or the Greninja has to be Scarf, the other one is most likely Z-Move. On London Beat side, Defog Finny to um, keep Rox off for Victini, even though it's a Hazard stacking team, most likely with Spikes on the Pharaoh. Rox on the Landris, either Z-Move on Victini or on Ladi, and the other one of the two is gonna be Scarf. Megazam looking like a threat, and also Celesteel looking like a threat, but I'm just gonna get right into it. I don't wanna waste too much time. So we see Finny versus Greninja. So I don't think, even if this Greninja has Gunk Shot, I don't think London Beat is gonna switch here. I think you should just Nature's Madness and weaken um, Amon on Latna's side. Because, like, if it's Protein, um, he does not have a good switch in anyway, so he just has to accept that he's weak to it. So he should just Nature's Madness. So we see the U-turn out, confirming that it's most likely Scarf Greninja, we do not see a life up. So he goes on the Celesteela as Nature's Madness comes out, and that miss sucks a lot, I talked about it at Team Brewio. Like, Celesteela is gonna be super annoying for London Beat to deal with. Um, now the taunt is pretty obvious here, so Lentna should just spam Heavy Slam to weaken the Finny. But yeah, now the Celeste Dealer would have been around 60% with leftovers. And now London Beats uh, has to switch here. Um, I assume Lentna's just gonna spam Heavy Slam. So he goes on the land roof, that tells us that he most likely has something to hit the Celeste Dealer with. So um, Lentna could probably switch out here, fearing either fearing either the Smackdown or the Knockoff, right? Um, London Beats could get up his rocks here, or he could go for Smackdown or Knockoff. Yeah, he gets up his rocks. So Letna is gonna go Clef, and Letna is gonna get his own rocks off. And we do see it was um, Knockoff Landris confirming that um, he had something to th um, threaten the Celestia with, or weaken it at least. Now, um, Clefable uh, can just go for Moonblast here, as uh, London Beats files over Earthquake. But we do see it's Knockoff Clefable as well, so it's Knockoff uh, rocks. Softbolt Moonblast. So Letna is gonna go for Softbolt here, so London Beats could switch, but he just goes for Earthquake Fishing for the crit, I guess, or wasting a Softbolt. I think he should have just hard switched, it doesn't matter too much. But yeah, um, Letna's gonna Softbolt again here. London Beats could switch out into um, probably his Ferrothorn here. And yeah, the Ferrothorn can get up a spike here. Uh, Letna could knock off the leftovers, so he just goes in the Celesteela, okay. Now, um, Letna's obviously gonna go for Flamethrower. Lantern Beast does not want to go in the Victinian Tech Rocks. He goes into his land. Let's see, um, Flamethrower's gonna come out? Mm -hmm. That's a good amount. So, uh, obviously, Letna can go for Protecti to get leftovers to back to full, or he could go hard into Fable. He should never stay in to get at this get knocked off. He should just either hard clef or knock off. Lantern Beast doubles in the Pharaoh, expecting the Clefable most likely, but yeah, Letna just protects to get that 1% health back. Now, um, he's gonna just Flamethrower here. Um, yeah, London Beats, I don't know what he's gonna do here. He might, if he has knockoff on Pharaoh, he could go for that, or he could go for Leech Sheet. But he's most likely gonna switch out, not wanting to take a Flamethrower, right? Um, I wasn't sure, because I thought if he was Spadef Pharaoh, maybe he wants to stay into Leech Sheet, the Steeler, because the Steeler is so annoying for his team. So now he goes in the Lottie, this could be, mean two things. It could mean he's the Gigavolt Havoc, or it could mean that he has Trick to threaten the Stella Steeler. So if I'm Letna here, I would probably just... Go for Protect to Scout if this is Scarf Trick. Okay, it's uh, most likely Scarf T-Wave. <laughs> so, um, Letna can just go for Leech Sheet or Heavy Slam here as he gets paralyzed. Not Beats is locked in the T-Wave. He goes in the Pharaoh expecting a Leech Sheet, gets the play correct. But now he probably has to pivot into like Finny or something. Oh, he goes low Pony. Okay, he expects the Flamethrower, goes low Pony. And yeah, there's another para, so obviously Lena doesn't want to stay in here. If this is Power Punch, it could beat the Clefable one-on-one. -on -one. So Clefable is forced to Moonblast, and I think Moonblast is a roll in London Beat's favor. Frustration would obviously 2 hit KO plus 1. And yeah, he can barely lift that, so Lena um, most likely has to sack the Clef. He high jump kicks there just in case Lena wants to pivot into, like, um, Celesteela, but I don't think he was going to risk that. Clefable wasn't doing much at that health range anyway. It could still heal up on the Pharaoh, so I do understand London Beat's play, though. So now um, Letna can go into his um, Alakazam or Greninja, probably Greninja here, and he's just gonna click U-turn I assume. He could also click Ice Beam, but U-turn is more likely to come out. And yeah, the Pharaoh comes out, so now he can go into his Kartana here. Kartana is most likely Z-move, since we see that the Greninja was the Scarf, and he does not have another Z-move user. 
Clefos Lefty, Zemeth Mega and the other two Monsia are also gonna be leftovers most likely. Um, so this could do two things. The Kartana could defog here, but I think he wants to keep the rocks up for the Victini. We know that the um, Lari was Scarf, so the Victini is most likely Z Celebrate. Um, since it's a T wave, it has to be Scarf Lari. That's um, I think it's for Volcarona, Scarf T wave Lari. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he could probably go for SD or just fire off his Z move or a regular Sacred Sword, depending on his set. Uh, London Beats doesn't have a switch in here. He could have um, maybe sacked his Finny, but he just sacks the Pharaoh to the Pummeling. Now he can go into um he can go into his low pony here or he can go into his Lari because Scarf Lari kills Katana with Draco from this range. Um you could also go Victini and set up, but let's see. He goes Lari, he's gonna Draco here. Um Letna's gonna go Celestia. Let's see if he breaks us in tricks. It is just Draco. So the Celestia um gonna super annoying. Missing leech uh, nature's man is sucked. Um Nat Nat could just leech shit here, he has no leech sheet immunities and he wants to keep the Celesteela healthy. Yeah, sex the low pony good play to keep the prevented from leech cheating to get health back. Now he can go Victini here to set up, right? And um Letna could do two things. He could leech sheet break in the Z celebrate. Um or he could go hard into Gastron, let's see. He goes hard Gastron, so he's gonna set up here the Z celebrate. Now I think this might be a roll to 2 KO the Gastrion with um, stored power, but probably Lentna just wants to Earthquake here, get damage on Victini, and then he can revenge it with um, either Scarf Greninja if he has a water move, or he can revenge it with Megazam because Megazam can probably take a hit from the Victini. Since it has Magic Guard, it does not take hazard damage, it's still at full, and Megazam has really decent speed def, so it's gonna be able to take um, a Searing Shot. And yeah, he most likely has Shadow Ball, otherwise he would not send this out. So this is gonna do 86. No burn, Shadow Ball picks up the kill. And yeah, it's looking like Latna's gonna win this game. Scarf Lottie has to lock into Draco here, because if he goes into Side Shock, that lets this and this in. Latna can just sack this because it dies to hazards. It does not matter what he does here at all. And after he sacks this, he could go into Celestia and Leech Sheet, or he could go into Greninja and U turn. He goes Celestia, he can just Leech Sheet here, London beats up minus 2, he cannot do any damage. Yeah, Leech Sheet is just a play to keep this healthy, he could also Heavy Slam, it doesn't matter that much. Um, so now he could just Heavy Slam or Protect. Uh, London beats Earthquakes there, he predicted um, Letna to go into Kartana, predicting the knockoff, I would assume, I'm not 100% sure, but that's my guess. Um, but yeah, at that point the game was over. Letna didn't need leftovers on Stila anymore, but I, like, I do understand London beats was trying to catch the Kartana, but at that point I think he lost anyway. So yeah, um, he's gonna die to leech seed here, and he's gonna go and pretty much just lose to this. Yeah, like he's gonna have to nature's madness here as he could protect. He, okay, he just heavy slam spams, I assume. Yeah, he heavy slam spams in case he taunts. And even if the Celestia goes down, um, Katana just comes in and clicks Leaf Blade. Oh, Greninja. Actually, at this range, when he's super low, um, he's gonna go down right to the next heavy slam. I was gonna say he's just trying to bring this in U-turn range so Scarf Greninja can sweep it U-turn. So Lali can now come out and click um, Draco since the Celestia got a fit F boost, it's fit F, so Draco's probably gonna kill. Yep. So you can go Greninja here and click U-turn or Ice Beam, probably U-turn because in case he uses this team again, he doesn't want to reveal if he has Ice Beam. So he just picks up the kill here and Letna, um, is Letna 3 0 now? I think Letna is 3 0. I don't remember if he won last week. Um, I haven't uploaded this week from last. His game from last week, yeah, that's still gonna be coming. Um, maybe it might be a guest narration. Well, yeah, um, just real quick, um, I don't know too much about London Beats, I don't have anything against him. I played him once on ladder and he locked me and I got super mad. But I think I had matchups, so I cannot say that he played bad. I just had matchup and then I lost to like some hacks. Um, I, I think that recording is also on my channel. If you guys wanna check it out, I could link it to you if you might, but it's not, that's not important. And like, I'm just like, usually I know something about the two plays that I've been playing for a while, but about him I just don't know that much. That was just like a side note. Also, what was I gonna say? Yeah. So, like, I had like an NU game, and there was like an NU and an RU game the other game going on, and so I recorded them both, running between my two computers yesterday, right? And then internet died like three times, so like the the RU game I just gave up on because it was like 200 turns. The end game I was at like 50 turns live, then I missed like five turns. So I'm gonna cut that together and send it to my man Ultra Bolts, the end gold. He's hopefully gonna narrate it when he has time. And yeah, anything else? Anything else? I'm not gonna like look at the score because this game was late and it would spoil other games that I haven't uploaded yet. And I don't wanna do that. Mm, yeah, I just expect um, a UE game later from Ultra Bolts. 
And yeah, I pretty much will put up some more RSOU and SMOU probably tomorrow, not sure of today. Yeah, maybe 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 one more at least later. Let's see. And I thank you guys for watching. And peace out. I don't really know I've messed them out. <laughs> Classic Dockerage, man. I'm super dead also from SPL Sunday. Sunday. Like, it's so frustrating to, like, um... There were, like, no games for six hours, right? And I was chilling because I was... Because I'm trying to get every game, like, almost every game live that is important. Besides lower gens because I don't know anything about those. So, like, I try to get every game. But there's, like, no game for six hours. But then they start... Start playing and then they just start four games at the same time. Like, come on, like, people are so annoying. Can you just not, like, play at different times? I mean, I do understand that some people need time to prep, but, like, oh well. Yeah, anyway, that's just my. I gotta rent a bit. I'm, like, mad about SPL Sunday because, like, yeah, I would, like, prefer if people would just play a few games every day, but I also can understand why it is how it is. And yeah, it's just Smogon. Um, some people take the time to prep but I think other people just don't want to play early but yeah some people are probably busy throughout the week I'm not like trying to attack anyone here um yeah that's my that's my thoughts and I'm out <laughs>